AIS, Automatic Identification System, has been developed to improve safety at sea, support safe and efficient navigation, and protection of the environment. Using the VHF band, the AIS periodically transmits navigational information, such as the position, speed and course of own ship, the ship's name and cargo. It also continuously receives and displays similar information received from other ships. Under the SOLAS Convention, all passenger boats, ocean-going cargo ships over 300 gross tons and coastal cargo ships over 500 gross tons are required to install AIS. Own ship data that is automatically entered and updated in the AIS include the ship's position from GPS, speed over the ground from log and the heading from the gyro compass. Other data must be input manually. Before a voyage, the following navigational information should be input manually. For manual input of navigational status, choose from the following items. Navigation status. Destination. ETA. Draft. Cargo status. Waypoints. Waypoint text. Persons on board. Height over keel. Among the navigational status items for manual input are Underway using engine. At anchor. Not under command. The AIS can transmit and receive text messages to and from all vessels and to and from specific individual vessels. It's possible to choose between safety message and routine work message, but the length of each is limited. AIS data can be output to AIS compatible radars and ECDIS. Also, it can be output to other instruments using a pilot plug. AIS offers a collision avoidance support function, providing information that cannot be obtained with radar or ARPA. The benefits are as follows. Real-time information, updated at intervals of 2 to 10 seconds while navigating. Immediate updates of changes to target course. Elimination of target swapping. Target no longer hidden by sea and rain clutter. High-speed targets rendered accurately. Information can be obtained from a ship on the other side of an island or cape using VHF transmission. Reporting intervals for dynamic information data are as follows. Every three minutes when anchoring or mooring under three knots every 10 seconds when sailing under 14 knots, every 3.3 seconds when sailing and altering course under 14 knots, every 6 seconds when sailing between 14 and 23 knots, every 2 seconds when sailing and altering course between 14 and 23 knots, and every 2 seconds when sailing over 23 knots. These intervals mean that course alterations made by other ships can be obtained in near real time. Data acquired by the ARPA function is updated with every radar scan. 
Updating generally takes several seconds and varies according to the radar scanner rotation interval, target vessel speed, turn rate, calculated ship speed, and so on. On the screen, the AIS and the ARPA vectors are superimposed, but not aligned. This is because the data processing methods are different. As the course of the target stabilizes after altering course, the two vectors will correspond. To use the information obtained for safe navigation, you must understand its acquisition method, processing method, and update intervals. The AIS automatically transmits and receives four kinds of information, static, dynamic, navigation, and safety-related messages. AIS information makes it possible to directly contact a target ship to confirm evasive ship handling. It's also possible to estimate a ship's course according to its destination. It's important to understand the operation and use of this equipment so that it may be used for safe, efficient navigation and protection of the marine environment.